Hi, today I'm going to review Sync Toy, uh, the X64 version. There's a 32 bit version as well. Um, a little software from Microsoft itself that allows you to synchronize two different folders or drives. Um, let's say between your hard drive, a folder on your hard drive, and a thumb drive, or between two disks for backup. I actually use it for backup purposes, and this is how it works pretty easy to install. Um, when you run it, you have to define uh, folder pairs which to synchronize. And let's create an example. Um, I'll create a folder on the desktop called folder A and another one called folder B. And I'll create a file in folder A, call it test test file A1. And just let's see if it will work. Click on create new folder pair. Um, and this is where you define the folders to be synchronized. So if you click on browse where the left folder is, select desktop folder A and right folder desktop folder B and click next. Now it allows you to synchronize in three different ways. Synchronize option uh, gives you two-way synchronization. So files changed or deleted or added on both sides are repeated on the other side. Echo, uh, new and updated files are copied to the left from, from left to right and whatever is deleted on the left is also deleted on the right and contribute actually copies everything from A to B and if you, even if you delete something on A um, it will still be available on folder B on, on the folder on the right. It's actually good if you want to do archiving and if you accidentally delete a document on your main disk you can actually have a copy in the archive. So let's let's say I'll do contribute and see how that works. Test A B. Okay. Test A B. Now you can run the synchronization or you can preview it. Uh, let's see what, what it will do if I click preview. It says it needs to copy new file from A to B and now I can just run it. Let's see if it works. Yeah, the file is there. And there's actually some other file, the synchronization data which needs to be there. Now, what if I change test file A and put in data inside? Data inside. Save it. And let's see. So, since we're using contribute, that will configure. So, it will override the file. And what if we. Okay, just run that. Let's see if it happens. Folder B. Yeah, the file is the same. Now, in case we delete the file on folder A and preview now, nothing, nothing needs to be done. But as you see, the file is still available in folder B. Now, if you would use uh, a different action, say echo, and that would probably delete the folder. Okay, that's a deletion there. If, you, if I run it now, it should delete the file there. It did. That's it. So that's how it works. And actually, it can be configured to be run automatically with, uh, with Windows Scheduler and you can actually run it through the command line as well. Now, very useful piece of software from Microsoft and there's both 32-bit and 64-bit versions available. Thank you, this has been a video review of SyncToy uh, from softwaresland.com.